Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson six in my How to Learn the Notes on the Guitar series. So for this lesson, uh, we'll be doing some different exercises. The last few we've done have been quite progressive. Today we're gonna do something different. Uh, there is no tab for this lesson. I didn't really think it would help. If you got this far, you can work things out for yourself anyway. Okay, so the first thing we need to learn is the cycle of fourths. Now some of you who may have done a bit of music theory work may know what the cycle of fourths is. Some of you won't. We're not going to worry for this lesson about what the cycle of fourths is. I just want you to learn these notes. I'll cover the actual cycle in another lesson or please look it up in your theory books. So, cycle, you need to write these notes down. So get a pen and paper, and then if you write these notes down in the order I give them to you. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, F sharp, B, E, A, D, G. So you should have 12 notes written down there. Now that's the notes in the cycle of fourths, starting from the note C. We've gone through all 12 notes, but we haven't gone chromatically in semitones, i.e. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, like we were doing before. Now we're actually arranging them in intervals of a fourth. I'll just quickly tell you what a fourth is. A fourth is the interval between the first and fourth notes of the major scale. So for example, if I play C here, if I play up a C major scale, the fourth note I land on is F. If I now play an F major scale, the fourth note I land on is B flat. If I now play a B flat major scale, the fourth note I land on is E flat. Okay, and that's, that continues all the way through through the cycle. So for now, we're going to use the cycle of fourths as a, as a way of practicing every single note on the guitar, and we want some kind of system to it. The cycle of fourths gives us a very, very good system. So that's why we're using it. So starting off, we're going to play every note on every string in order. So starting off, C, eighth fret of the E string. Now we're going to play C on every string in order, not skipping any strings. So I'm going to play C on the eighth fret of the E string. C on the third fret of the A string. C on the tenth fret of the D string. C on the fifth fret of the G string. C on the first fret of the B string. And C on the 8th fret of the top E string. Okay, now I could have played, for example, this C on the 1st on the fret of the B string. I could have played it on the 13th fret. That would have been fine as well. And the C I played on the 5th fret of the G string could have been played on the 17th fret of the G string. That would have been fine as well. Okay, as long as you play each note once on each string, that's fine. Which octave you put it in, it's up to you. So then we're going to work through every other note going through that cycle of fourths in the same way. So we're going to start with F next. F, 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 F. Next note, B flat. Next note, E flat. And then you're going to work through the list you've just written down, that cycle of fourths. Find every single note in order, starting from the sixth string, the bottom E, each note on each string. When you get to the end of the cycle, go around again. And as soon as you start to get it, get your metronome out, find a tempo you can play it at, uh, put the metronome on, see if you can get through that whole cycle without stopping. So you play all the C's, then you don't stop, you go straight to F, play all the F's, straight to B flat without stopping. So you may need to do that quite slowly, but just experiment with the metronome until you find a tempo, it doesn't matter how slow it is, that you can do the exercise at continuously. Then write it down, work on that a few times, and as it starts to get easier, increase the tempo a bit faster, you're pushing yourself a little bit harder as you're learning the notes better. So what else can you do to help you learn the notes on the guitar? Well, you can analyze the things you already know. So for example, let's take a simple chord progression, G, D, A minor. Looking at those chords, I'm sure you all know those chords. Now, you may not know which notes are in those chords. So a good exercise for you would be to take that first chord, G. What are the notes in the G chord? Work them out. G, B, 
D, G, D, G. So then you learn what's actually in that chord. We've got three notes. We've got G, B and D. The G's repeated a couple of times, so it's the D, but I've really only got three notes in that chord. Then you may know G in another position, perhaps here. Then you look at that note, that chord, and you think which notes are in there. I've got G, D, G, B, D, G. Well, that's the same notes as that one. G, B and D. They're in a slightly different order, but the notes are the same. Perhaps you know G up here as well. Which notes are in there? Well, I've got G, D, G, and B. Same notes again. So then you're learning something. You're not only learning where the notes are on the guitar, you're also learning something about a G chord. And you can go through all the chords you know and do that. It'll take a while, but you'll learn a lot from doing it. Another thing you can do is you can play scales that you know and say the names of the notes as you go or figure them out. So for example, while we're in the key of G, G major scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Play it and say it. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Good exercise. Go through your, your scales that you, that you know. Which notes am I playing? Because we do think in shapes a lot on the guitar. So if you can start to demystify some of these shapes, analyze them, write things down as you go, you'll see some patterns. You won't only learn where the notes are, you'll also learn a little bit of music theory as well. Another thing you can do, learn to read music. A lot of guitar players are scared of reading music. Don't be, don't be. Start very, very basically. Start with easy stuff. The good thing about reading music is you have to think about every single note. You look at the note on the page, you ask yourself which note is it, then you ask yourself where is that note on my instrument, you find the note, you play it. Every single note you read, you have to think about it in that way, so you'll learn a lot about where the notes are on the guitar from reading music. Well that's it for this series of lessons on how to learn the notes on the guitar. I hope you've enjoyed them, and if you've got any comments or suggestions, any ideas, you want to share with me please just leave a comment um, like my Facebook page there's a link to that in the description and yeah just keep practicing see you later